The world's largest regional security organization, with 56 participating states, the OSCE offers a forum for dialogue and platform for action in the fields of early warning, conflict prevention, crisis management, and post-conflict rehabilitation. Bridging differences and building a security community is not just the job of diplomats. The first ever OSCE Security Days, held on the 24th and 25th of June, brought diplomats together with academics, think tank experts, journalists and the general public to discuss urgent security challenges. And as we have a debate about the future role of this organization, I think it's important to offer also uh, external players, um, uh, representatives of the society, representatives of the media, why not? Mm -hmm. uh, a possibility to interact with us, uh, to offer their own contribution, uh, to enrich our debate, and, uh, and then we'll take stock of that. Held just ahead of the OSCE's annual security review conference, where political and military experts meet to review the security situation in the region, Security Days addressed new approaches to arms control, resolving protracted conflicts and promoting reconciliation. The key role played by civil society in all of these endeavours was emphasised by the participants. If we build up a network of those people who are ready to dedicate some, uh, uh, some, some months and years of their lives in uh, making the, the security situation in, in Europe better, then through their efforts on NGO level, academic, expert and business, they probably can do more. That's my experience in one of the most acute situations of the Russian uh, uh, confrontation with the neighbors. They can probably do more than, than, than diplomats, believe me, because diplomats work on a very strict instructions within very uh, limited uh, field of uh, maneuver and, and so on and so forth. It is a moment to explore more fully uh, what the meaning of democracy, how civil society uh, is responding to these tumultuous and, and transformative times. So what we're advocating is a stronger role for civil society, for business, for young people to be a part of this exploration. How does media, how does social media, the internet, work to both support democracy, but how can we use it to prevent the spread of hatred and violence and incitement? This is the uh, comparative advantage for the OSCE. The more civil society is involved at the earliest possible stage, the greater the acceptance of the final settlement. And this is the approach that we are encouraging in the transition settlement process, interaction at grassroots level that will help to overcome the prejudices that have been built up over the past 20 years uh, between the two sides of the Nistru River. And also, uh, this will help to highlight uh, the importance of human relationships over the issue of territory. Security Days opened up the dialogue virtually as well. The conference was webcast, and remote participants sent their questions and comments to the panelists via Twitter and Facebook. Uh, I sincerely hope that this can develop next year. And as we are uh, uh, streaming live, uh, live uh, over the web this, uh, this event and we're getting Twitter inputs, I sincerely hope that next year those people who are tweeting their own comments could be joining us in the room. And perhaps we can have a larger network of people that will follow us uh, uh, online.